Hey everyone, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this week's Thursday's check-in. I believe this is my first Thursday check-in in Santa Monica for the new year. I have not been here for about a month and since I did last week Thursday's check-in, I have just been really focused on my small business and shop because I didn't create art for a whole month over the holiday season while I danced in Las Vegas and going back into doing the markets and pop-ups I have been basically doing all things small business creating art gearing up for Valentine's season and my Valentine's release for the shop so stick around because I am sharing everything on the vlog channel the behind the scenes of what it's like to be a small business owner and resident artist and I've been doing that from the start so I am back into artist mode with that being said because I did pop-ups over the weekend which was really rough Saturday's market was indoors so it was easy for me to do that pop-up with the rain but Sunday I was outside in the rain I was literally breaking down in a poncho loading up the shop and it was a lot so it's been a very stressful uh, welcoming myself back to California the patio it has been trashed and is trashed and I think what I'm going to do is just film me cleaning the patio like how I did the hangout with me episode this past Monday just sharing me do my thing without any talking because literally I could just come out here like with clothes that I don't mind getting dirty and putting on airpods and listening to a podcast or something and then just getting my hands dirty and going inch by inch in the patio but honestly it doesn't matter because I can do that and then the next day it can get all trashed again at the end of the video I'll share with you a little glimpse of what the patio looks like but basically I came back to pine needles this high all of my plants out here my patio lights were down some of them got damaged because of the rain the wooden fencing along the patio is now getting destroyed from the rain so it looks really really bad and I'm hoping that management will fix it but I put in a request and we'll see when that happens uh, but I am back in California and I know I did mention in a previous Thursday check-in that I have my philodendron bipenifolium that is overgrown and it's literally now at least I don't know like take a look at this this is one trail that is now past it's steak and I love this plant a lot I even brought out for the first time my other bipenifolium that has been training on my window because now that I have a moment to share on the channel with you guys what they look like I am in the future the very near future in fact after market weekend I'm going to do a planting with Julin dedicated just to these mother plants I'm going to let the trails all out, <laughs> let it go, and see what looks good and what doesn't look good. And if it doesn't look good, I'm going to cut and propagate it and then just set it aside to let it grow roots. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to either put it back into the planter to make it more full or make a whole new third plant. So. If you guys are interested in a cutting from my mother plants and you're in the US, I'm more than happy to sell off a handful because I do have a lot. I will share with you. Here is one of my mother plants as you can see. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's out of control. So I need to make some decisions let me share with you what the other mother plant looks like and this is the first time take a look at the craziness this is the first time I took it down from my window as you can see it's very leggy compared to my other mother plant here that's been staked up so I've had them about the same time but obviously the one staked up is a lot more fuller right and the one that has been just growing on my window is a little bit more I don't want to say leggy but not as full so I wanted to share with you the craziness the wildness of 
my philodendron what they look like before i do a dedicated planting with julen propagating it hope two mother plants that i have definitely on my plant mine that i wanted to dedicate some time to doing a planting with julen episode propagating them i finally have it in me to say i'm ready to do that now that i'm home so stick around i will do a dedicated planting with julen and this coming weekend i'm pretty sure i am going to be at the bazaar friday and saturday i will throw up the flyers i'm still waiting for confirmation but i'm pretty sure i will be there friday and saturday and sunday i will be at melrose trading post and i will make announcements in the upcoming thursday's check-in that i will be doing a pop-up back home in hawaii in february so in a couple of weeks i'm gonna go back home with the shop my cousin just had her first baby which she's been on both of the channels before and she finally had her first baby so congratulations to my cousin congratulations to my grandma on another great grandbaby in fact my other cousin in henderson in nevada he lives there now with his wife and one-year-old daughter they just had their second daughter three days before and my best friend on oahu which is always on my vlog channel his sister just had her first baby two days after my cousin it's just had. been a very busy week of babies in five days my two cousins and my best friend's sister all had babies so that's a lot of babies so i will be going back home to hawaii next month to take the shop for a pop-up and i will announce the date and location it will be on oahu and i can't wait to see my cousin's baby so stick around for the dates and if you are on the island of oahu i would love for you guys to come and visit the pop-up meet me in person and i will have a lot of my plant related plant theme art pieces up for sale and i'm really looking forward to doing the pop-up and going back home i know it's been a couple of months since i last went home with the shop so i'm definitely ready to go home especially now that baby is here so that is going to wrap up today's thursday's check-in just a quick hello i've been basically editing and creating art and doing things for the shop as i prepare for this coming weekend with the pop-ups and just working remotely from home but i wanted to hop on here and share with you what the philodendrons look like and my next plant project and give you guys a glimpse of the damage in the patio and comment down below what do you think about the philodendrons and the state they're in the wildness that they're in and it's definitely something overdue that i needed to do last year but i was traveling and i just was not nervous but avoiding cutting it which i know you know if it needs to be done it needs to be done and it's definitely overdue it's time it is time to do it so i finally have the courage to cut my mother plants and I will do a whole separate planting with Julian video and share it on an upcoming Monday upload. So that is going to be it for this week Thursday's check-in. I hope you guys enjoy seeing a glimpse of the Santa Monica studio and the patio. It's definitely a lot. I think next week before grandma comes back because she's coming back next week. I want to be out here and I will do a clean with me probably maybe three episodes of going section by section and this is a perfect time for me to like look at the plants the condition of the plants see if they're happy if I need to put anything back in the greenhouse and freshen up for a whole new year so that's it for today's video and if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day happy planting and aloha from Santa Monica California bye So here is a glimpse of the craziness. I know, this is crazy. I have to do it. And it looks even more crazy now that I took it off of my window. Yeah. This is what the whole patio looks like. It's definitely trashed. And my plants just get destroyed from the tree. So 
I will share the process of me going through the patio in upcoming videos. Another section right in front of my studio door. I just blew this area yesterday and it's back filled with pines. Story of my life. As you can see, Hoku is demonstrating the messiness of the tree. It is so crazy. And this is just from yesterday. I know, baby, you're gonna help mommy.